Всем привет! Сегодня у нас урок аудирования и мы продолжим работать над развитием навыков понимания английского на слух. Полный курс аудирования насчитывает уже более 50 уроков, ссылка на него есть в описании под этим видео. И мы приступаем к сегодняшней практической части. Сегодня мы будем слушать рассказ фотографа дикой природы Мака Стоуна о своей работе. И кроме того, он поделится некоторыми другими своими мыслями. А затем мы выполним небольшой тест. Итак, поехали! So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. Итак, я обладаю большой привилегией путешествовать в невероятные места, фотографировать эти отдаленные ландшафты или пейзажи, и далекие или удаленные от цивилизации культуры по всему миру. So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Я люблю свою работу. Или я очень люблю. Мне очень нравится моя работа. I love my job. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. Но люди думают, что это череда озарений, восхода и радуг, в то время как в действительности это по большей части выглядит примерно так. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. This is my office. This is my office. This is my office. Это мой офис. This is my office. Объединим эти эпизоды и послушаем. So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. I love my job. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. This is my office. And we can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. And we can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. We can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. Мы не можем позволить себе самых шикарных, люксовых мест, чтобы переночевать. Поэтому, как правило, мы много спим или часто спим на открытом воздухе. And we can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. Uh, as long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. Uh, as long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. As long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. И это бонус при условии, что мы остаемся сухими. Uh, as long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. Uh, 
And we also can't afford the fanciest restaurants. And we also can't afford the fanciest restaurants. We also can't afford the fanciest restaurants. Мы также не можем себе позволить самых дорогих или модных ресторанов. We also can't afford the fanciest restaurants. So we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. So we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. So we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. Поэтому мы, как правило, кушаем то, что есть в местном меню. So we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. Итак, моя работа – использовать фотографию как средство связи или средство коммуникации, чтобы помочь ликвидировать пробел или устранить расхождение между наукой и эстетикой. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. Объединяем эти эпизоды и слушаем более длинный, связанный отрывок. And we can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. Uh, as long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. We also can't afford the fanciest restaurants, so we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. Now, I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. Now, I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. Я начал заниматься этим 15 лет назад, прямо здесь, в Гейнсвилле, прямо здесь, на моем заднем дворе. Now, I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. И я влюбился в приключения и открытия. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. There's a lot of beautiful places to find. There's a lot of beautiful places to find. There are a lot of beautiful places to find. Существует много красивых мест. Или можно найти много красивых мест. There's a lot of beautiful places to find. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. Несмотря на все эти годы, которые прошли, я все еще смотрю на мир глазами ребенка. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. See, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh, yeah, wow, okay, that's a pretty tree. See, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh, yeah, wow, okay, that's a pretty tree. See, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh, yeah, wow, that's a pretty tree. Посмотрите, много людей смотрят на это и говорят, о, да, ух ты, вау, красивое дерево. See, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh, yeah, wow, okay, that's a pretty tree. 
but I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend, but I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend. But I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend. Но я вижу не только дерево. Я смотрю на это и вижу возможность. Вижу целый уикенд. But I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend. А теперь объединим эти отрывки в длинный эпизод. Now I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. There's a lot of beautiful places to find. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. And see, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh yeah, wow, okay, that's a pretty tree. But I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend. Because when I was a kid, these are the types of images that got me off the sofa and dared me to explore. Because when I was a kid, these are the types of images that got me off the sofa and dared me to explore. Because when I was a kid, these were the types of images that got me off the sofa and dared me to explore. Потому что когда я был ребенком, именно эти картины, эти образы заставляли меня вставать с дивана и заставляли или провоцировали, подзадоривали меня исследовать. Because when I was a kid, these are the types of images that got me off the sofa and dared me to explore. Dared me to go find the woods and put my head underwater and see what we have. Dared me to go find the woods and put my head underwater and see what we have. Dared me to go find the woods and put my head underwater and see what we have. Вызывали или вдохновляли меня найти лес, погрузить голову под воду и посмотреть, что там. Dare me to go find the woods and put my head under water and see what we have. And folks, I've been photographing all over the world, and I promise you what we have here in the South, what we have here in the Sunshine State rivals anything else that I've seen. And folks, I've been photographing all over the world, and I promise you what we have here in the South, what we have here in the Sunshine State rivals anything else that I've seen. And folks, I've been photographing all over the world, and I promise you what we have here in the South, what we have in the Sunshine State rivals anything else that I've seen. И, ребята, я фотографирую по всему миру. И уверяю вас, то, что мы имеем на юге, то, что мы имеем в солнечном штате, не уступает или может соперничать со всем, что я когда-либо видел, или любым другим, что я когда-либо видел. And folks, I've been photographing all over the world. And I promise you, what we have here in the South, what we have here in the Sunshine State, rivals anything else that I've seen. But yet our tourism industry is busy promoting all the wrong things. But yet our tourism industry is busy promoting all the wrong things. But yet, our tourism industry is busy promoting all the wrong things. Но пока что наша туристическая индустрия занята тем, что продвигает неправильные вещи. But yet our tourism industry is busy promoting all the wrong things. Before most kids are 12, they'll have been to Disney World more times than they've been in a canoe or camping under a starry sky. Before most kids are 12, they'll have been to Disney World more times than they've been in a canoe or camping under a starry sky. Before most kids are 12, 
They'll have been to Disney World more times than they've been in a canoe or camping under a starry sky. До того, как большинство детей достигнут 12, они уже побывают в Диснейленде. Также можно перевести до того, как большинству детей исполняется 12 лет, они уже побывали в Диснейленде больше раз, нежели в каноэ или в палатке, в турпоходе, под звездным небом. Before most kids are 12, they'll have been to Disney World more times than they've been in a canoe or camping under a starry sky. And I have nothing against Disney or Mickey, I used to go there too. And I have nothing against Disney or Mickey, I used to go there too. And I have nothing against Disney or Mickey, I used to go there too. Я не имею ничего против Диснея или Микки. Я также туда ходил. Или более буквально можно перевести. Я раньше или я когда-то тоже туда ходил. But they're missing out on those fundamental connections that create a real sense of pride and, and ownership for the place that they call home. But they're missing out on those fundamental connections that create a real sense of pride and, and ownership for the place that they call home. But they are missing out on those fundamental connections that create a real sense of pride and ownership for the place that they call home. Но они упускают или теряют те фундаментальные связи, которые создают настоящее чувство гордости и сопричастности или ответственности за то место, которое они называют домом. But they're missing out on those fundamental connections that create a real sense of pride and, and ownership for the place that they call home. А теперь давайте послушаем все выступление полностью. So I've had the great privilege of traveling to some incredible places, photographing these distant landscapes and remote cultures all over the world. I love my job. But people think it's the string of epiphanies and sunrises and rainbows, when in reality it looks more something like this. Right? This is my office. And we can't afford the fanciest places to stay at night, so we tend to sleep a lot outdoors. Uh, as long as we can stay dry, that's a bonus. We also can't afford the fanciest restaurants, so we tend to eat whatever is on the local menu. So my job then is to use photography as a communication tool to help bridge the gap between the science and the aesthetics. Now, I started doing this 15 years ago, right here in Gainesville, right here in my backyard. And I fell in love with adventure and discovery. There's a lot of beautiful places to find. Despite all these years that have passed, I still see the world through the eyes of a child. And see, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh yeah, wow, okay, that's a pretty tree. But I don't just see a tree. I look at this and I see opportunity. I see an entire weekend. Because when I was a kid, these are the types of images that got me off the sofa and dared me to explore, dared me to go find the woods and put my head underwater and see what we have. And folks, I've been photographing all over the world, and I promise you what we have here in the South, what we have here in the Sunshine State rivals anything else that I've seen. But yet our tourism industry is busy promoting all the wrong things. Before most kids are 12, they'll have been to Disney World more times than they've been in a canoe or camping under a starry sky. And I have nothing against Disney or Mickey, I used to go there too. But they're missing out on those fundamental connections that create a real sense of pride and, and ownership for the place that they call home. Друзья, отличная работа! А сейчас обещанный тест. Его задача – понять, о чем говорит тот же самый носитель языка, которого вы слушали уже некоторое время. То есть мы опять же послушаем Мака Стоуна, но уже другие фразы, те, которые не встречались в уроке. Итак, пробуем.
And what can you do to help? It's so easy. And what can you do to help? It's so easy. And what can you do to help? It's so easy. It's a lot of fun. Just do it. Put your feet in the water. It's a lot of fun. Just do it. Put your feet in the water. It's a lot of fun. Just do it. Put your feet in the water. Друзья, надеюсь, что урок вам понравился и стал полезным. Напишите в комментариях, как у вас получилось выполнить тест. Что вы услышали в тестовых видеоэпизодах? Благодарю вас, что изучаете английский со мной. Подписывайтесь на канал, ставьте лайк и встретимся в следующих видео.